Yeah, hello friends, how you all doing? Another great day, right? Yes, not to bore you with details, okay? Now look, if you have this kind of document, I bet you you will not regret ever listening to this news, but hold on, I tell you, you will be shocked what is about to happen to all of you. All right, if you're here for the first time, please subscribe, okay? I will tell you all the details too, not only that one, all that detail that is mind-blowing, ah, yeah, okay. Subscribe, please. Information is free, man. Hey, it depends on what you do with it, whether good or bad. Hey, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. All right, to my friends who have done so, thank you very much. You guys are great, wonderful, one love. Much respect to you all from Chi. Yeah, remember? Share, share, share. That's very important. Sharing is good in life, huh? Just like I'm sharing with you guys, okay? All right, now let's dive straight to South Africa. This time around, in the Parliament of South Africa, they are now considering to allow women to marry more than one man. Wow, it's no longer men marry more than one one woman so at least the men could understand and feel what the women are feeling when they start bringing in a man and say hey this is my second husband this is my third husband you know allowing women to marry more than one man what do you think do you think it's a good idea maybe they should practice it in nigeria to africa you know what i'm saying you know it is stated that before couples or people in a relationship or married get to their 50th or 60th birthday <laughs> they must have cheated by hook or by crook some do their own on phone you know video call thing show me there show me that thing open open you know what i'm talking about you guys you do it a lot you do it a lot you tell the girls this thing while you're videoing taking photos eh? that is also cheating some even cheat with married women eh? some guys love to go for married women i'm telling you even here in italy europe at large they are doing this in africa eh? they go for the married women and also the married women too are like that they are also you know sneaking out cheating on their men you know hey that's why paternity fraud is on increase you know a lot of women giving birth to another uh giving birth to children who doesn't belong to the man you know just like that people have been finding out you know this a family reunion when people want to bring their family to europe to america they have to do their tests and from there they have discovered that man what is happening man women are giving birth to children that don't, that doesn't belong to the man huh Cheating, cheating. Have you cheated before? Guy, tell me now. Have you cheated? How did you do it? Did she notice it? Oh, oh not only the men, even ladies too. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys cheat now. You guys cheat now. No matter how you look, you know, we all cheat in one way or the other. Yeah, I know you like to deny it, but you know, I'm saying the truth, man. I'm saying the truth. I do research a lot, I'm telling you. Okay, okay, so that is it. Allowing women to marry more than one man. How do you feel? How do you see it? Nice one, nice idea. What's the world turning into? Strange things happening. People turning strange laws to make it look nice. All right, okay, let's leave it at that. Yes, you know, the other time I told you that. Um, um, the Prime Minister was like on the summit on the 24th of May, they are going to talk about how the European Union they could gather money and give to Libya to restrict the migrants from coming in here, you know, blah blah blah, the rest is history. But now the office of the Prime Minister in Rome has debunked the allegation, he has debunked that accusation, he said, no, 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 I did not say so, boy, why do you have to lie on my head, you this La, La Republica, you guys are, you guys are straight carrying this kind of news, I never said so, all I said was that uh, we are going to discuss on how to help those African countries who are uh, harboring those migrants, to help them Baba. you know by doing that alone helping them in that way whether logistic financial way you know uh, guy you are trying to it's the same thing i do not see the, much difference in it because at the end of the day with those ships you are going to offer to them those kind of money it's like uh, kind of uh, oiling them you know oil them oil them so that they will uh, look for a way to send the migrants back i think it's almost the same thing man, when you look at it so when he's saying that it's never in his plan in his thought you know Eh, well, this is politics, I don't know, I don't know, that's just to tell you what he said, oh, that's my own job, just to tell you what he said. So now, guys, do you hear about that girl, that student girl who went to take vaccine, man, they gave her overdose, overdose of it, eh, four doses of it, man, that is almost, it's excess, man, but well, she's uh, doing well, <laughs> you don't worry, she did not die. And please, when you are going to take care of, because those of you are working, it's also mandatory, I have friends who have already taken it, but they are still alive, I'm telling you, my friends are alive, Africa trust them, will have good blood man and they are, you know they are thinking of taking coconut why so i've already taken coconut they know themselves as they are watching me yes 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 so that's good man that's good you know take coconut